As for the best player in the nation, it had to be Ernie Davis, winner of the 1961 Heisman Award and central figure in a scramble among at least four pro teams for his services. The Syracuse star has now definitely been won by the Cleveland Browns of the National Football League. There, he'll join his old orange teammate and buddy, Jimmy Brown. I talked to Davis about his pro football future the night he received the Heisman Trophy. Here's his outlook. I'm ready to play football no matter where it is, and uh, I'm looking for the future, and I, I hope to get a good contract and be a, be a success. Was winning the Heisman Award a big surprise to you? Yes, it was a big surprise to me. Uh, at the end of the year, I felt that I had one of the best chances to win it, but uh, due to several injuries on our team, uh, we lost a couple games, and then I felt that uh, I'd be in the running, but I wouldn't win it. But uh, I thought that Bob Ferguson of Ohio State would win it. He's a tremendous football player. So that actually the acquisition of the Heisman Award is the great thrill for you, even more than meeting the president. Yes, it is. It's, uh, I have to say, meeting the president is the second in uh, the Cotton Bowl game in 1963. That, I take it, was the highlight of your career on the field, the Cotton Bowl game. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. What was the single great play that you most remember out of your whole career? The play that I most remember is in the Cotton Bowl in 1960 when I caught an 87-yard touchdown pass on the third place in scrimmage. Still the longest bowl pass play in history. I think it is, Howard. Ernie Davis taking success in stride.